Hello friends and welcome back for episode 4 of our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play. So, uh, first thing, before we get into things, I want to just say sorry about that asymmetrical little chunk above this treasure chest here. Uh, it was pretty funny and the, the unfortunateness of the fact that I kept saying how I hate when people build asymmetrically and then I went ahead and did it myself. Uh, yeah, that... That was kind of funny. Anyway, I didn't do it on purpose. I was just being a big dingus, and I didn't really look very carefully at it. So anyway, we are back, and we are going to be doing a little bit more uh, housing expansion here now that the day is, well, it's brighter, although, well, the clouds are going in front of the sun, so maybe that is all that's going on. All right, so we're going to let's uh, do our first thing here as we were doing before, make a little bit of an expansion onto the roof, and we will basically be following suit exactly the way we were uh, the idea being we want to get some more NPCs in here. So I did a little bit of reading up, uh, and I wouldn't say anything comprehensive by any means, but I did at least look at a couple of, like, very quick little facts about, like, what's new in the Tori expansion, and I noticed one of the things is, uh, like, I think it's at eight new NPCs, so that's a pretty sizable number of them. Uh, is this the right height? I think it might actually be a little short, right? I needed to go, like, one higher than that or something. Uh, my bad. I'll be a little bit more careful, and I do want to make probably like a more elaborate housing structure at one point, because uh, right now, uh, this is really, really just standard, just like functional, get the dudes in, don't really worry too much about it type stuff, and where are my wooden platforms? It looks like they're not present and accounted for, there we go. Uh, so I will need to go ahead and find some more trees, obviously wood is going to be at a premium, uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of that if I intend on building this up as high as I probably should. Although I guess I could also just like cut it off around here and then just go to the right and build like a sort of a uh, lowercase n shaped building or something like that. Maybe connect two towers together. I don't know. We'll come up with something. Was I actually at exactly the right height? I may have been. I just was not. Was not with it. Alright, it's all good. We've made that. Uh, so yeah, we've fixed this little nugget here. Uh, what other things were commented? There's all kinds of really good comments, so I want to say thank you for all of that. Uh, useful, uh, you know, tips and information, things that are going to allow me to hopefully be, uh, play, play the game a little bit better. And uh, one of those was using ropes more is a thing, so I want to do that. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and buy some ropes, though, from our vendor, which we now have. Uh, things are going to get a little bit more easy to, you know, expand upon once I have... A variety of NPC vendors at my disposal, and that should happen fairly quickly. So what is on the docket for today's episode, you might be wondering, and now that we're almost three minutes in, I still haven't really commented much on that fact. So uh, today, uh, we're going to be just building this little chunk onto the building, making it a little bit bigger and better, and then I think we're just going to go and look around and maybe try and like climb that tree or like go under the tree some more. I, I want to do a little bit more exploration, but in a more meaningful way. Like, the other time, and this map is actually quite handy, uh, the other time we got pretty far down, we went down over here on the bottom left, and then there's the tree over here on the right, and we sort of, like, we stopped exploring at a certain point, so I could just keep going down and see where that goes. Uh, there's that lake down at the bottom, I could just keep going from this point down, just, you know, branch out a little bit. I'm hoping to maybe discover uh, some more handy stuff. Maybe, uh, you know, some health or something. Uh, another good tip about how to proceed with... Oh, actually, before I even get to that, apparently there's, like, a hammer button that I can press in the crafting world. Uh, is it at the very top of this? I might be really dumb and just have missed it. Oh, I actually missed the things I actually wanted to click on. No. No. Uh, what's all of this? This is all the map stuff, right? It's just different versions of that. Oh, and we can see the whole full screen thing. Oh, and zoom too. I didn't know we could zoom. Oh, that's pretty handy. And you guys told me that there's all kinds of stuff available up at the top uh, that I should look for because they're no longer locked. Uh, that's a thing I might want to explore, but first I want to grab some grappling hooks and try and make my way up this tree and, you know, probably easy access up there if uh, we could possibly work that out. There's also another tree over here, which is kind of neat. Right, let's put that back away. Anyway, I'm not sure what it was that we were looking for in here. Oh, this hammer. The cra There it is. Alright, that's much, much nicer. Uh, do I need any more torches? Probably not. 
Uh, wooden platforms could probably use those. We'll definitely get some rope, though, and we just wanted a table and a chair. Sorry, pardon the, uh, the confusion here. I'm just getting settled again. Wait a minute, what happens when I click this? Nothing? Oh, it just puts it on it in the list for me. Okay. Still getting acclimated, like I said. And I probably could have just scrolled right there. And let's go place those down. And yes, I do understand how the shift button works now. It's just going to be all about uh, whether or not I remember to use it. Which sounds really easy, right? But it's it's really not. Also, I hear I heard you loud and clear about the miner's helmet. Oh, the demolist, demolitionist arrived almost immediately. Well, that's pretty handy. Uh, can we talk to you? I hope a scrawny kid like you isn't all that's standing between us and Cthulhu's eye. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, that is the case. Uh, let's grab the mining helmet. Eight gold. Oh, I don't have enough for that at all. I am quite far from that point. So, rope then? Bam! 400 rope. Let's go save the demolitionist's life before he, uh, meets a certain unfortunate fate. Uh, let's take out this slime umbrella man. These seem to be very common. And, you know, even in the old patch, before, you know, 1.2 came out, or I guess it was just 1.1 at the time, uh, there was, like, this slime boss that I had never encountered that I always wanted to run into. Let's take out this flying fish as well. And it was uh, told tales of all kinds of goodies and treasures that it drops, but I never actually discovered them. Do I have any dirt on me? Of course I do. I've got, like, 500 of them, or 800. Why don't I just place some dirt, right? And then we'll just not have this stupid uh, incline thing going on here. And apparently the hammer is what I use to make half blocks. There we go. Sorted that out. And we'll just get rid of these uh, these little green nuggets and then everything should be nice and flush. Oh, except for this space right here where the ground meets that. Uh, no problem. We'll take care of that as well. And now that I know what to do with those, I should be able to hopefully uh, do like this and then we'll just hammer off the edges. Is that... No. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we just kind of... Yeah, I get it now. We go, we go through a couple of states before it reaches the point where it's happy. Uh, can we talk to... Ooh, what did I just do there? I think I just hit the background or something. Why do you keep closing the door, man? Calm down. What do you have for me? TNT? One gold? That's really expensive for what I have right now. Uh, grenades might work. Bombs might work. But, eh. Not really necessary. Uh, so I've got a spear. Seems pretty good to me. The axe, I guess I could get a lead axe, or... Yeah, I got a lead pickaxe, a le wooden hammer... Yeah, I should get, like, a, a nice hammer, I guess. Could use it as a weapon as well, I guess? Why not? And we'll just, uh, get rid of this other one. I not really want that one that badly anyway. And what do I have? Tin, chainmail... Well, what do I have now? Wood? Yeah, wood's, like, basically garbage. Alright, sorry about that. Apparently, uh, whatever I was doing was not really up to the standards of Terraria, so it decided we were gonna have a little moment there and crash. So we are back, and I was in the process of, I believe, about to be, uh, you know, buying some armor or crafting some armor here. Uh, probably we'll go with the... Oh, too far, too far. Go back. Was it the armor or the was it the tools I was doing? I don't even remember. Uh, let's just get a better axe. And then we'll just take it from there. Alright, just get rid of that one. Don't want it. Don't need it. Uh, what do I have for torches? 53. I could have seen that either way. Um, do, 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 do. He's got torches, right? 50 copper a piece. I could probably just craft them for cheaper than that. Yeah, this little uh, tool at the top there is pretty handy. Alright, that'll be the end of our... Uh, slimes and wood chunks, I think. Oops. Oh, I didn't mean to waste that. Darn. Oh, well. Uh, do I want this sword anymore? Not really, but I guess we'll just leave it there because I still have plenty of spaces left. Uh, I have extra torches. I'll just drop these in here in case I need them later on or something. And I guess we should just go out and do a little bit more exploration. I'm sure the demolitionist man will find his way back. I don't know where the hell he went. He just <laughs> wandered off somewhere. Uh, oh, there he is down below. Uh, so, on the map, I guess we will head to the right, and then we'll go down to the base of that tree. And I'll try and carry a torch with me, so hopefully things become a little bit more illuminated. 
I definitely don't want it to be quite as dark as it's been, but, you know, it kind of goes with the territory of Terraria, I suppose not a whole lot you can really do about it. And we'll make our way down. I'm sure zombies will come in chasing after me, but that is just their nature. And where do we go from here? I guess we could just keep going... I don't know, one of these directions. We could just put a little torch up here. There's something in the wall there. I hope we can find some gems. I really want to make a grappling hook sooner than later. Uh, there are so many things that I'm not going to be able to reach if I can't get over in that direction. And this demon eye... Not sure how it got down here. Well, I guess... Zombies will just be down here as well. I kind of thought zombies usually fell from the, you know, the top part of the world, though. What is this in the wall here? Is this rocks or something? Tin ore. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll grab some of that. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for explaining the uh, differences between the worlds about how there's, like, Crimson World and then regular Corruption World, and how sometimes you'll get certain progression paths... Uh, apparently I got the lead one instead of it being the usual, like, iron or something. I thought these were all stacked on top of each other, so, you know, I stand corrected. What do I know? Um, but no, it's, it's kind of a cool thing because it means that after I finish the game with this character, there might still be a bunch of things that I would want to go ahead and craft, uh, by going and bringing that character to another world and starting over again. So I guess that's sort of a way to get artificial longevity out of the game, aside from just the fact that it's got, like, the whole you know, endgame stuff that you're going to need to have a really powerful character for. And I have been to that stuff for the most part before. I mean, not when all the new bosses were added, obviously, because this patch is still very new. Uh, but, you know, as far as the original vanilla game was, uh, you know, as far as its uh, existence goes, I did finish, I think, mostly every bit of content there was to see in it back then. So, I look forward to reaching that point again and getting back to hell and all of that, and maybe fighting that flesh wall thing, which I never actually reached in 1.1. And I am aware there's, like, all kinds of ways that you can kind of cheese through the game, or, like, speed up progression, or jump past big parts. Like, I'm not really in it for that. This is more of a casual thing. Uh, my, you know, the intent of rushing seems really silly to me. Like, why bother? Just play the game at your own pace. Enjoy yourself. Discover stuff when you discover it. And uh, then you will withhold the wonder of, you know, playing the game however you choose. So, that's how I want to do it anyway. Uh, I know probably a lot of people are going to get frustrated if I spend 20 episodes just on, like, the surface area. And that's probably not going to happen, to be honest. Uh, I'm not that slow. But, you know, I also don't really want to go ahead and make any huge commitments about, Oh, and by this episode I'm going to have this done, by this episode I'm going to have that done. No, things are going to happen and progress as they progress. And hopefully you guys are cool with that. Uh, the main draw of the series, aside from, you know, just hanging out and playing some Terraria, I think will hopefully be just random conversational type moments that happen on the fly. And like I said in the last episode, uh, for the first bunch, it's going to mostly be uh, all about the game. And there will be definitely some moments or certain episodes that it will be uh, more heavily about the game than others. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and say I'm going to, like, nail down that one episode is going to be about a certain topic or anything. Uh, because honestly, I can't really plan that well anyway. Uh, whatever comes into my head comes into my head. And that is just, you know, the fact and the, the fact of the matter of how doing Let's Plays works. You know, you start mining stuff, and then 20 minutes later, you've gone through 20 different topics, and that's just how it is. Uh, and by that same note, I'm not really going to... Uh, totally lost my train of thought there. Um, <laughs> I'm not really going to nail down any specific... Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. That. I'm not going to nail down anything specific. Done. <laughs> I've gone ahead and not nailed down anything specific in that statement, so I hope you're happy. No. Uh, we are going to fight some enemies now, and when I think of what it was that I was trying to say, I will come back to it. Uh, and those enemies today are going to be... What is this? Some sort of a blood-soaked eye, I guess? How did it get under the ground this far? Yeah, well, no big deal. You can't really fight me through this little peephole, can you? That one probably could, but it didn't. And I'm probably going to end up throwing that last glow stick by accident at some point. Uh, get a... Oh, there we go. Oh, we've got some gems in the walls. Alright, good. Good news. And I am aware, yes, I can place these in the background. Uh, that is a thing that I've learned fairly recently. And I actually did it in the house, too, so don't worry. Uh, but what do we need, like, 15 gems or something, and then we should be able to make a grappling hook. That is very high on my priority list. Getting a grappling hook means mobility vastly increased. 
kind of glad we decided to come down to the bottom of this tree. I think there might be some fruitful things to find here. I keep thinking the edge of that lead ore looks like a diamond or something, or a sapphire, or some sort of a blue gem. I wonder if there's other gems as well. I mean, I know we had the set of them. I, there might end up being, like, the same way they have the materials doubled, maybe they have the gems doubled as well, and there's, like, two sets of them or something. I don't know, I'm just totally guessing at this point, but I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. I'm just trying to think of what it was that I was trying to say before, and just totally lost that train of thought. That'll happen. So, we'll continue to dig here. Oh, it looks like we've got another little cave system below us, perhaps. And again, I will keep in mind that I want to try and keep lights as much as I can around my character, because it is probably pretty frustrating uh, if you're watching this video and it's awfully dark. I know YouTube makes videos very dark, and I don't want to assist in that being frustrating for anyone. Alright, so... Oh, yep, looks like we can see pretty well down here. I could just put this... Oh, I can't put it here because there's no dirt. That's just... Far away background, I suppose. Uh, what's over here? Is some more ore, I guess? Yep, a little bit. Actually, mine that through the wall. I can hear the zombies. They don't seem to want to fight me, though, so I guess we'll uh, see them when we see them. But aside from armor, I'd really love to find some magical stuff, some magical artifacts of any kind, really. Uh, the benefits that they provide are usually so great that it's like, not having them is a huge liability most of the time. Uh, so I can just drop ropes here now, which is such a huge addition, I'm so glad they added this. And just hold my clicker right over it, and it should let us descend at any rate we'd like. Alright, now we can see pretty well going down, it's actually not nearly as deep of a cavern as I expected it to be. And I also won't have to clutter things up quite as much with uh, all this rope. Or with all the platforms, I mean, the rope will make things less cluttered. Looks like we've got a little bit more tin here. Yeah, oh, looks like quite a bit, actually. It's probably one of the bigger caches that I've found so far. Not gigantic by any means, but definitely more than average. And is there something behind it as well? I thought I saw something maybe glisten off in the distance. It's weird how you have this, like, proximity-based vision. You can, like, sort of maybe kind of see a little bit of something through the wall, but you're not really sure. It's actually really well done. Uh, it's the thing that I think... Oh, there's some slimes, I think, on the other side of the wall there, which is probably what I saw glistening. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of water. All right, that'll be interesting. That's another thing I really want to make sure I can swim sooner than later, because it really sucks if you get low in the uh, the strata of the world, and then all of a sudden uh, you fall to your death because you can't, like, get out. Uh, Alright, well, this is pretty awkward. I don't think these slimes can really do much to me. Oh, there's a crystal in here! Alright, cool. Well, I'll definitely be going after that. Uh, it's a free heart piece, so the first time we found one, actually. Pretty ex uh, exciting. Good news. If I could take out some of these slimes, I'll go ahead and post a torch up on the ceiling here. It's kind of hard to see anything, though. Maybe I should have put the torch first. What are you gonna do? Alright, yellow slime. I need to go get some air. Can I put torches, please? There we go. Should've just done that right from the start, right? And apparently I used to need a hammer to get into those things, but now I think I can just use a pickaxe, if I remember correctly, from what you said in the comments. Yeah, I would say that would be an improvement, right? And there's some more ore down here. Oh, this is a great spot to be. Now let me just make sure I can get out. That's, uh, first things first in my mind. really hate the idea of being, like, trapped underwater and slowly drowning. Uh, definitely not a good way to go, if you're gonna go. I can think of about a hundred other ways that would be preferable. Uh, now I probably am not gonna be able to reach the air at that point. Uh, I guess I could just, like, dig a little tunnel over here to divert some of the waters to make the, uh overall level go down a bit, or I could try and divert the water over to that little other subterranean area to our left. Probably gonna take a few minutes, though, if I did that. Um, actually, not necessarily. Maybe I could just drill through over here. Oh, I should just go ahead and use that crystal that I already found, right? No sense in holding on to it. How do I use it? Oh, I've gotta pick it up from here, right? There we go. Extra heart! Hooray! And what can I use? Uh, I wish I had some TNT. That would be a really quick way to get through this wall. 
Looks like, however, I do not. Uh, and I used my very last of the neon stick things, so I'm gonna have to go get more of those eventually. Uh, so we'll just dig down a little bit over here. I guess I could throw a couple grenades, right? I mean, that seems like maybe a little wasteful, though. I just kind of want to dump all this water out, that's all. So I just don't have to, like, worry about it. But I'm probably making this way into uh, a bigger issue than it even is. Oh, I think what I was going to bring up before that I totally forgot about, and yeah, it's been bugging me the whole time since I didn't remember it, uh, was somebody said that they'd like longer episodes than a half an hour uh, to, you know, properly showcase what needs to be done in an episode of Terraria. I hear you. I totally hear you. But uh, by the same token, I think I'm probably not going to be able to, uh, out of partially out of necessity, uh, just due to the fact that my upload speed is garbage and the length of time that it would take for me to make those episodes... Uh, you know, in my own personal life, that I spend recording them, editing them, uploading them, or rendering them, all of those things are a step in the process. And, like, every ten minutes longer that I make an episode is, like, usually about four times that that I end up spending in the long run. So, I think a half an hour at the max is probably the sweet spot. If I have a specific thing that I need to do, or if things end up playing out to be longer than that, of course I'll play it by ear and I will make the episode longer if need be. Uh, but I'm not generally going to make the target length longer than a half an hour. It just becomes a little less practical then. Uh, I'm gonna do it sort of like how I did Spelunky, or how I am still doing Spelunky, because Spel Spelunky's not over by any means. Uh, but just, uh, if something needs the time, then we'll take the time. Otherwise, that's gonna be pretty much my target. So, alright, let's dig back through here. And yes, I am also aware of, like, getting back to the house, like, you could just not use a magic mirror and just simply, uh, log out. <laughs> <laughs> That's another option, I suppose, but, you know, I could also just do it off-camera as well. And, uh, if it needs to happen, I can also, uh... Oh, I'm almost out of breath here. I should have probably been building into the ceiling. My bad. Uh, if it needs to happen, I will also consider doing, uh... Rudimentary, like, improvements to the house off-camera as well, if that gets boring or ends up being too time-consuming. It may also just be, like... I don't know what the right way to say this is, but it's just more entertaining to me to do it without speaking over it. Uh, because it lets me sort of be a little bit more creative. Because usually when I'm talking, and I'm trying to think of creative things to say, I'm not, or, you know, some, at least interesting things to say, I'm not worrying too much about, like, the aesthetic beauty of whatever it is that I'm doing at that exact moment when it comes to the actual, you know, building element. Uh, so yeah, I will try and figure that out as well. And let me know if you have a preference one way or the other, if uh, some minor house repairs or additions need to happen. Would you rather I did it on camera, or... You know, I could probably do a little bit of both. I've even had somebody say that they weren't uh, too upset with the idea of me doing, like... Uh, you know, improvements on armor and things, or like inventory management on on camera. Probably the other, the first thing, not so much. The second thing, more so. Oh, the thing ran out. Crap. Okay, I have a way around this, don't worry. Uh, and as far as doing inventory management on camera, probably not. I don't think that would really be fun for the majority of people to watch. Uh, somebody did mention also, like, I could live stream some Terraria occasionally. I wouldn't be against doing that, but it would probably be for, like, non-consequential stuff. There we go. So now we've got a little cubby hole, and I can go ahead and put that in there. And then... Yeah, this is uh, what I feel like, sort of like a, a little life hack for Terraria. You build this little cubby hole and then put a torch in it. And then you can go ahead and get some breath, and also light comes through, which is great. But in order to do that, you have to put yourself at a small degree of risk by digging down low enough that you might not be able to get back up easily. I hate playing in water, though. I mean, in general, uh, water levels are frustrating, and, you know, I'm creating my own water levels right now, so maybe, maybe we won't do that for very long, and maybe this is probably a little hard to even see what we're doing for anybody, let alone myself. Uh, but there was some more stuff over here I really wanted to mine, so let's... Let's finish this up as quickly as I can, and we will get out of here. And I should come back with a bunch of resources. Uh, let's just dig a another little hole into the wall. And then we'll go up, and then we should be able to build another torch. Oh, I'm actually getting ore right now. Alright, there's a little bit more down here. Of course they're gonna go ahead and put, like, the major ore caches, like, right underwater, where you can't really easily get them, right? That's just kind of, kind of how it goes. I mean, it's random, so it's not like there was any malicious intent, but... It just seems to happen more often than not. 
What's going on up above us? I mean, we've got this, uh, pretty jellyfish dude hanging out. Uh, I feel like I might have just seen something shimmering off in the distance below me. Not 100% on that, though. And if I could just get a little air pocket again. This is, like, the slowest possible way to explore underwater. It's really not a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna leave. Uh, there's enough resources that I think I've grabbed out of here that I don't feel too bad in moving on. I'd love to have some more glow sticks, though, because, you know, there might just be another wonderful jewel or something here, or a crystal, that I could use for health. And it might be just out of my visual reach, and I'm not going to know about it, and then I'm just going to leave it alone. If these jellyfish could go ahead and illuminate this for me, that would be nice, too. Uh, did they drop anything I can make glow sticks out of? They probably would, right? And I'm going to go ahead and uh, fall in this water in a way that, yeah, they actually just literally drop glow sticks. Okay, well, that helps me see how deep this is, and I can actually see the bottom of it from here, but kind of too risky for me to jump in at. So, uh, with that, we will head back to the house. And we will go ahead and see what we've gotten as far as spoils. Not a ton, but we did at least get the heart crystal today, so that's kind of a nice improvement. Like I said, things are going to be a little slow at the beginning. And I kind of like this path that we're on now a little bit more than what I uh, had going on the left side of the world. Uh, also, next episode, maybe I'll go ahead and explore that desert region a little bit more. What I was hoping today would, uh, what would happen would be that maybe we would run into enough gems in the walls that we could maybe make a grappling hook and then go up the tree instead of just below it. But you guys did say you wanted to see more underneath the tree. There's also, like, some tin right here that is just, like, hanging on on the side of this uh, cliff face that I can't really reach. Kind of kind of want to do that, though, so why don't I get myself in position here and I'll toss... Uh, what do I have to toss down here? Is a wooden platform, maybe? Could that work? I think I can put that here, right? Yeah. Kind of. Uh, kind of, sort of, maybe. Nah, not really, actually. No, nope, not really. Took some fall damage there, because I'm real dumb. Um, what can I do with rope? Did somebody said something about... Oh, I can build rope sideways. Alright, well now I know. That is very cool. I'm really happy about this rope situation. And plus, I can hold a ton of it, too, so... Oh, I can make rope ladders and, like, cargo nets, too? That's wild. Good stuff. Oh, man. That is so cool. Man, I could use this in so many ways. Now I can actually just go ahead and mine this tin right out of the side of the cliff... And why don't we get rid of these two, uh, whatever we call it, platforms. There we go, they're gone. And I guess I can even get my rope back. Terrific. What is this little plant thing down here? Can I use this for something? Can I break it? Oh, blueberries. I like blueberries. I said it so strangely. Blueberries. Blueberries. I don't know why that sounds so weird today. I've eaten blueberries all the time, but they've never sounded like they were called blueberries, if that makes any sense. It doesn't, but I'm just saying if it did. Alright, back up we go. It's a pretty weird way to go about, like, getting back to my house, but, you know, whatever. At the beginning, we're still figuring this stuff all out. And, oh, we just got a little seagull or something here. I thought it was going to be one of those flying fish. Those birds are adorable, by the way. Uh, so what do I have for spoils? Blueberries. I've got 999 dirt blocks, that's more than enough. I could probably make a material chest at some point. I'm going to have to go ahead and make a basement, uh, which I'll probably do off-camera at one point, uh, just so I can store all of this stuff, because materials build up really, really fast. I can make ruby torches, those are cool, or red torches, now that I have these rubies. Uh, let's look at our little hammer thingy here, so I can get a quick glance at all the stuff I can craft. Uh, I could go ahead and make tin chain mail now, I think that might not be a bad idea. Tin, well, let's get the tin bars out of the way first, right? Because I got a whole bunch of tin that time. And did I get much lead? Uh, I did, actually. Where are the... Lead... Oh, there it is. Lead bars. Ta-da! So, 48 and 24. I can tell the scarcity just from that. Uh, 2, 2, and 1. I'm definitely going to need all of the help I can get when it comes to this stuff. So why don't I do... Uh, yeah, I'll do a chainmail and a helmet, I guess. So I'm not going to be able to afford all of it anyway. Uh, I don't know if I can sell this wood bl uh, breastplate, but I will give it a shot in a minute. And then there's that. So now I've got some stuff anyway. Getting armored up, and what was I going to do? Toss this guy, no value. Okay, well, what are you going to do? 
And any other consumable items worth buying, the piggy bank will be good eventually. Mining helm is way too expensive, in my opinion. And I have a swiftness potion. Uh, you guys mentioned I should try and get, like, uh, some sort of a gravity potion that lets me flip the world upside down. I would be for that, I guess. But I'm not sure how to capitalize on that concept as well as I probably should. So I will figure it out when I get to it. And why don't I just toss a bunch of dirt blocks... Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing there. Let's toss... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't want to trash it. I wanted to split it. Yeah, let's do, like, something like this. And then toss the rest of them in here. And I'll just go ahead and make a material chest another time. And, yeah, that's gonna probably do it for inventory management. So... Uh, with that, we will wrap up another episode. Thank you, of course, everyone for coming and for being here and for hanging out with me for another episode of our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play. I am excited to see all the things the, the game still has, you know, in store for us. There's a lot of them. We've barely only scratched the surface. I mean, barely. Like, we're probably like 0.2% done with the game at this point from what I have in terms of scope in mind. Uh, how do I make the whole map happen again? M? There it is. Yeah, okay, so there. now we can see our depth. Uh, as we can compare the two tunnels that we've created. So this is the the place we dropped that uh, glow stick down when I killed that jellyfish. And you can see it's about roughly nearly as deep as the last thing I made. And did I even notice that this little cavern was branching off over here? Maybe we should go explore that next time. So it looks like there might be some stuff. I keep saying web, but it's probably because I'm mousing over it in the background. And then the desert was over here. Does the map... Oh, okay, it actually shows both ends of the world, too, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, now you can have a sort of a, an idea how much of the world we have seen so far. And it goes, I think, probably down further than... Well, no, maybe that is the entirety of it, but this is a long way down. Uh, it's gonna feel like a long way down. And then we even have a ways up to go, so... Like I said, plenty of things still to see. And I guess with that, we will wrap up another episode. Thank you again for your support and for being here, and be sure to uh, leave your support in the form of likes if you still are enjoying the series. Of course, any tips or comments are always welcome, so feel free to let me know what's going on uh, in my Terraria world, in your opinion, and what you'd like to see me do in future episodes. I will read all the comments, as I always do, and I will take uh, advice as I see fit. The, the better ones will uh, probably be integrated into gameplay. And uh, we'll take it from there. So thank you again. I will talk to you guys later and have a good one. Later.